Okay, so the first segment of this episode, episode 37 of Morning Kickoff, we are going to be talking about five picks for candidates for Rookie of the Year. Now, this is probably my favorite award the entire year. MVP, we're going to be talking about MVP. We're going to be going over Comeback Player. A lot of different awards there is, but Rookie of the Year is by far the best, in my opinion, because it gives everyone a chance. Now, of course, quarterbacks have an advantage when it comes to every everything ever. All the, all the awards are just a quarterback award, but for this, it's like my favorite, except for Defensive Player of the Year, right? Defensive Player of the Year is usually goes to anyone, so that's probably my second favorite. But Rookie of the Year is really anyone who lived beyond what they were expected. If they were a first-round draft pick, it's probably more likely, but if they were a second-round draft pick and just looked just as good as the first round, they get the advantage here. So we're going to be going over five picks for Rookie of the Year, starting with number five, we have Henry Ruggs. The Las Vegas Raiders, what they're calling themselves now, that's a scary offense now. Last year, Josh Jacobs, I think, should have got Rookie of the Year, but also there was there was Nick Bosa. Okay, so no, he, he did not deserve it. But Josh Jacobs is going to come back and look amazing again this year. Depending on how Derek Carr looks, this offense is going to be really scary, the Las Vegas Raiders. Henry Ruggs, the speedy receiver, brings a lot to the offense for the Las Vegas Raiders, a deep threat that the Las Vegas Raiders really needing last year so now with that offense Henry Ruggs obviously the first wide receiver off the board I wouldn't say he was the best I'd say he's probably the third best receiver but first receiver off the board he's going to get a lot of targets he's definitely going to be up there for rookie of the year as long as he doesn't get injured I think they are going to feed him the ball but Josh Jacobs and stuff that's why I have him this low on the list is just because I don't feel like he deserves it more than these people will probably deserve it for number four we have Chase Young now the Washington football team, okay, was what they're calling themselves now. The Washington football team's defense is garbage. They don't have Josh Norman anymore, anymore. Not like Josh Norman was ever good. I don't think Josh Norman was ever good in his whole career. Their defense is not looking that good, but Chase Young, best pass rusher in the draft. Second overall. Come on, Chase Young's best player in the draft. Defensive end, though, that's the reason why I have him at fourth, is just because offensive offensive players get a lot more attention. But pass rushers, they get it. Last year, Nick Bosa got it. He was the second overall pick, best pass rusher in the draft, best player in the draft, mind you, and so is Chase Young. So if Nick Bosa got it, Chase Young can too. I think Chase Young's better. This player is so good, and that's why I have him this on this list, but only as number four. So who's ahead of him? We have number three. We have CeeDee Lamb. Why should I have CeeDee Lamb three? Because CeeDee Lamb plays for the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys always get more attention than any other team because they're the biggest franchise in the league. Now, CeeDee Lamb is a player who got more attention than all the other players in in college, even Jerry Judy was a better receiver, but didn't get as much attention as CD Lamb did. And I think CD Lamb is going to get targeted a lot. He, CD Lamb is going to be paired up with Amari Cooper, and this is going to be a great place for their offense. Dallas Cowboys, mind you, were a great team last year. They played awful. Okay, had a terrible season, but they're a stacked roster. That's one of the best offensive lines in the league. Zeke is still great. I know he had a downfall last season, but he is still built and athletic like he should be. I don't know if he can catch as well anymore. You know what? Last season, take that off the books. Zeke is still the best running back in the league. No, 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 not the best. There's there's better, but one year ago today, Zeke was the best in the league. So today he is still going to be great. Dak Prescott, still okay. I, I put him about middle of the pack. Dak, Dak is pretty good. You have Amari Cooper, the best receiver at the sideline. Amari Cooper is amazing. Now pair C.D. Lamb up with Amari Cooper. C.D. Lamb's going to get a lot of targets, and he's going to be a huge threat for the Dallas Cowboys offense. So him being on the Dallas Cowboys moves him up on the list because, of course, they get more attention, and he's going to get a lot of targets. C.D. Lamb has to be in the question at least i think he's going to get so many probably maybe more targets than amari cooper i don't know amari cooper played amazing last year jason witten looked awful he's not going to get any is he even there anymore who's their tight end now i don't even know who the cowboys tight end if jason witten is gone anyway still cd lamb he's going to get a lot of targets great route runner amazing after the catch amazing hands cd lamb is probably the best hands in the draft he is amazing but him being on the Cowboys is why he's above Chase Young and Henry Ruggs, so that's why I have him at number three. Number two, we have Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow is going to be a lot of people's number one pick because he was the first overall pick and because he's a quarterback. When you're a quarterback starting in the NFL, you have an advantage on every single thing except for Defensive Player of the Year. All the other awards, or I guess Walter Payton Player of the Year, also not really, but anyways, if you're a quarterback, you have an advantage on all the other awards, including this award. And that's why Joe Burrow is number two. I do think Joe Burrow will do well because he has an amazing offense. However, he playing for the Bengals. The Bengals are a cursed franchise. I don't think he's going to bring... If he brings them to a playoff run, if he wins the division, Joe Burrow is going to get the award no matter what. He's a quarterback. He's going to lead the team there. He's throwing to amazing wide receiver group. One of the best in the NFL. 
running back? Who's the running back now? I don't know. Their offense is still looking good. Their offense is going to be good. I don't think that they're going to be making the playoffs, though. And for that reason, I have them number two. And for number one, we have Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. Now, Clyde, Ed Clyde Ed Edwards looked amazing in LSU. He's one of the pieces that brought him to their championship last year. Clyde Edwards is now with the Kansas City Chiefs. If you watched the Kansas City Chiefs last year, you know that they were an all-pass-heavy team. They've passed over all of the teams, and that's really how we see with these NFL teams nowadays is pass-heavy. It's a pass-heavy league. The Chiefs showed that you could win a Super Bowl when all you have is passing. On defense, they were not the best defense. Little to no run game. They haven't had a run game in two years with Kareem Hunt, and I think Clyde Edwards is better than Kareem Hunt. I really do. Now, Kareem Hunt was one of the best players back then, but that's because he was with the Kansas City Chiefs, who are a pass-heavy team. You are When you're a defense, you are looking for the pass. You are trying to stop Patrick Mahomes throwing. You're not looking at the run game. Last year, the run game was really bad. Damian Williams, I don't think is with it. I think Damian Williams actually dropped out because of the, or opt, is opting out the season as well. So that makes Clyde Edwards the starting running back. I'm pretty sure he would have been anyways. They used their first round draft pick on Clyde Edwards. I felt like it was a bit of a reach. I would have used a second round draft pick on a running back just because of how the running back group was looking. I, my favorite was Jonathan Taylor. They couldn't have used their second round pick on him, but still they could have got a player in the second round, but also Clyde Edwards. How, are you, how is that going to be able to stop? Now you have to look at pass game and run game depending on how Clyde Edwards look. I'm assuming he's going to look just as great as, as he did in LSU. And they're now having a run game, and that's going to make the Chiefs even better of an offense. Better than they already were. They still have Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, who, Sammy Watkins, McCole Hardman, and then now you had this player, Clyde Edwards. Their offense is scary, and for that reason, I do think that they will probably get to a Super Bowl, win the Super Bowl, and that will give Clyde Edwards the rookie of the year, if he can bring them to that spot. So, him being on the Chiefs is the only reason why he's up there. I don't think he's the best running back in the draft. Again, I think Jonathan Taylor is, and then I would probably put... I think DeAndre Swift is a little bit overrated. I wouldn't put DeAndre Swift there, and I don't think he's going to be at all in this list. I think if I had a top 10 list, I wouldn't even have DeAndre Swift in here. But Clyde Edwards being the first is just because he's with the Kansas City Chiefs. Them going to a Super Bowl, they're going to have a run game now. Defenses are going to be looking to stop the pass. They're not going to be looking to stop the run. And if they start looking to stop the run, defenses are just going to be... They're, they're not going to be looking good at all. They're going to be made fun of, and they're going to... Oh, that's going to be embarrassing for the defensive for the defenses that are against the Kansas City Chiefs if Clyde Edwards does look, work. And then if I did a top 10, it would probably be a lot of wide receivers. There are so many wide receivers in this draft who could now be like star players. I mean, you have Jerry Judy who I didn't even put on this list and he's my favorite wide receiver. But then again, he is going with the Denver Broncos who have a lot of players on offense. Their Denver Broncos have a lot of young offensive players. I think Noah Fant is the most underrated tight end in the league. Cortland Sutton, great ride receiver. Uh, they have a run game. They have they still have Philip Lindsay. They got someone else. They got Melvin Gordon is who they got. And then who knows really how their quarterback is going to look. So that's why I don't have Jerry Judy on this list, although I do think he is the best wide receiver. C.D. Lamb, wide receiver on the list. Dallas Cowboys, come on, great player. Henry Ruggs, huge offensive weapon for the Las Vegas Raiders. And that's why that's my list for top five receivers. Top five picks for rookie of the year, not receivers. Top five picks for rookie of the year. Let me know what you all think. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave in the comments what your top five pick would be. Thank you all for tuning into this segment of Morning Kickoff.